Today we will talk about one more battle match type of PvP build for Wizard. This is kinda similar to the last one, but this time we are not focusing on primary attacks that much. Actually with this one, we are a little bit more defensive and we have more mobility. Now let's check out our skills. I am using Lightning Nova, Arcane Torrent, Ice Armor, Teleport and Magic Missile. Now let's talk about the set items. I am using 4 pieces of Gloomskite because we always use our dash skill to engage with the enemy. That way we are getting 15% damage and 22.5% critical hit chance increase. For the other 2 pieces I am using Vitus to increase the duration of beneficial effects, which almost affects all of our skills. Before moving on to the legendary items, I want to talk about the stances. Wizard's stances are probably the best in the game. Offensive stance increases your skill's critical hit chance by 20% for 3 seconds, and after that 3 seconds the increase is reduced to 10%. And when you activate your defensive stance, all nearby enemies are stunned for 3 seconds, which is perfect, and your primary attacks reduce the movement speed of players by 20%. So always keep an eye on your stance cooldown and use it when it's needed. Now let's talk about the legendary items. For the headpiece we have Mask of Illusions. Teleport now causes you to become invisible and leave behind a mirror image. For the chest piece we have our defensive essence. Ice armor now also reduces damage you take by 20%. For the shoulders we have one more defensive essence. Teleport now causes you to gain a shield that absorbs 25k damage. By the way these numbers can be higher for you because I am still only on master level 3. For the pants we have Noble Castigation. Arcane Torrent also fires tracking missiles that seek out enemies dealing 11k damage. For the main ant I am using Rift Carver, Arcane Torrent now creates a chaotic orb that moves with you and fires arcane missiles at random nearby enemies. For the offhand we have Heart of the Storm, Ice Armor becomes Storm Armor, continually damaging nearby enemies. And for the additional main ant I am using Thunderbird's Bite, Lightning Nova damage increased by 16%. And lastly for the additional offhand I am using the Siphon, Casting Lightning Nova temporarily increases your movement speed by 60%. Other than that I am using 6 pieces of Tortured Curse Properties. This is the best one for these kinds of builds, because basically it gives you one more extra control skill with that immobilized effect. Lastly we can talk about the Paragon, of course I am using Gladiator. I will add my full Paragon setup at the end of the video, so you can check that out if you need some guidance. Now enjoy the gameplay.